This is where we spill the tea. I mean, we're here. We're on the Jones Beach Boardwalk. Oh Dee Snyder's God. calling it. Wrap it up. We've been hanging out with the hot teas. The hot teas, by the way, are amazing. Hashtag Long, Long Island, Island Life. Life. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to the Long Island Tea. What are we? I don't even know where we are. Um, it's fine. Hi. This is how. <laughs> this is how this week is. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. Um, we are the Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea. It's true. Uh, I don't know what we are right now, but we are we are like we are like hitting it out of the park. That's all I know. I know. With this episode. Oh my gosh. Because let me tell you, we have the coolest, coolest interview, and we're only going to play a snippet of it because it goes on you for like a solid hour. Right. So and and. It might be the best interview we've ever done. I just, I loved it. And it's with Lori Rothschild, and she is the producer of Kim Kardashian's new podcast on Spotify called The System, and we're going to talk to her later. And if you're not listening, you have to listen to the show. And more importantly, Lori's from Long Island. From Long Island. Born and raised in Long and Island. She, and then we do a rapid fire of all of her favorite things on Long Island. So you have to listen because she gives you like, she gives you some real Long Island Oh my tea. God, I love her. By she the was way. awesome. And she lives in LA now, but she's like, Long Island, let me tell you about it. And she's <laughs> like, it's you know, she's just the, the real deal. And I love it. So we're going to play her interview in a little bit. but um, And then there's going to be a full online version where you can listen to the whole thing. So you got to do that. But okay so real quick Sharon how you doing how you doing I'm doing good um, I was totally driving down Sunrise Highway the other day and there was a truck that was the company name was how you doing oh my god I know and I couldn't find my pocketbook was in my back seat and I couldn't get my phone to take a picture can I just rant for a minute yeah go ahead what, what else was it? I don't know what kind of company it was probably like a sprinkler how, really or a landscaping company I don't know but it was like how you doing and it was exactly like how it's in how one you word. doing <laughs> Um, my rant is, is that, you know, I've been asking for a lot mm-hmm. from this team. I've mm-hmm. been asking for a lot. I okay. ask for a lot. I want a cup. I want a new mug that says, how you doing? I know. Why is it so hard? Right. I feel like. Because our feel cup like, lady is like uh, busy. Well, I don't know. Like, I feel like I could. <sighs> fine. You know what? Let's have a little. I'm, I'll, I'll Instagram her tonight. Yeah. I guarantee you she's going to write me right back. She will. Be like, sure. How many do you want? Yeah. Tell Simply Made Greetings, yes. our amazing mug maker. She's amazing. I, I, why? Why? I I feel like, you know, uh, was it the, the guy from uh, Mike Myers, um, Dr. Evil, where I'm like, I oh. just want some sharks Sh- with lasers. Little lasers. <laughs> throw know? me a freaking bone. Just throw me a freaking <laughs> bone. Uh, also, I've been asking for a sweater blanket, a sweatshirt blanket. Yeah. For I've been sa- like a solid I year. I mean, I don't know. Our team's a little busy. <sighs> So merch might be like on the back burner. Okay. But for a year? No. I know. Our team is amazing and I love it. I mean, it ran about the team, but I'm just, I feel like a little bit Howard Stern right now. Like, I want to how you my, doing mug. Where's my sweatshirt blanket? Where's my sweatshirt blanket? I know. It's, I'm getting chilly and it's I want a sweatshirt, sweatshirt blanket weather. that says <laughs> where you belong. Like, exactly. I and mean, we need a how you doing mug. You're right. Does anybody want, where's our interns? I feel like somebody <laughs> could make this happen. I'm like, don't we have interns to do help this? Help me out. <laughs> no, we've got we, our team is on board and they're amazing. And we've got we've got our annual meeting coming up, which is a beast. And then immediately following our gala with it, our tourism awards, it was just crazy. We're just slammed, but it's awesome. It's all amazing things. Today, I was just gonna say real quick. What yeah. uh, What do you mean today? No, go ahead. What are you gonna say real quick? Uh, we've been we've been airing for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Two year, it's our two year anniversary. We didn't, we missed it. <laughs> we Alyssa's missed it. like, uh, by the way, we also missed it. I'm like, I can't yeah, exactly. Um, but you know what? We won an international award today. I know. Congrats. Did you know that, Michael? We won an international award for best use of data. Like, and it's funny because I was just on a call a minute ago, right before I jumped on right, here, which is right. my mom's That's wired. I'm not sure if you can tell <laughs> with the da- assemblyman, New York State assemblyman Danny O'Donnell, right? Who, who you know, go happens ahead. to be uh, Rosie O'Donnell's brother. Typical Long Island. Yeah. He's yeah. like, oh, my I'll, sister I'll just, Rosie. I'll just be We're from Comac. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's awesome. Danny. And uh, anyway, we were chit chatting about Long Island. I'm like, I heard her on Howard Stern. He's like, ah, oh. So he's like, how do you know your advertising works? I'm like, well, I just so happened to win an award today, a global award. Yes. That's uh, the best part. Best it's use global. of data. Um, and what it, about when we went to Phoenix yeah. and our Phoenix campaign and how we were able to totally convert visitors and not only you know convert visitors and literally double our spending or impact our spending by 100 percent from that market but also go spread them out um to our tourism entities it's 
It's amazing what we're doing, and we're up against destinations like Houston and Denver. Amazing, and all amazing. These, all these like global destinations. I'm like, I don't even know where that is. Right. I don't even know. <laughs> but it's just, like, it's crazy. Like, you know, we here we are like, again. Long Island from it was the, the awards were in London. I right, even, like, right. We're we not even there. We couldn't attend. Yeah. I'm like, I can't go to London. They they texted me. They're like, you're a finalist. Can you go to London? I'm like, no. But luckily, we had a representative. <laughs> there. We had a representative there, which was our our data provider. I was like, can you go to London? Because I can't. Like, was he going anyway? By the way, I don't think. So. Well, he lived in London for a okay. long time, so he was like, yeah, I'll go. And he was like, you won. And I'm like, we won. We won. Yeah. I mean, Zarnico, yeah. our data provider, which was awesome. Anyway, we just, you know, he's like, how do you know? I'm like, well, I just happen to win a global award yeah. for like data exactly. and measurement. So, and I can show it to you. So. If you know, you know. Yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> um, but it's been so crazy. And I'm just back from Parents Weekend. How was it? I was waiting all week and for like pictures on your social. And then like you, you were. Boom. Boom. I, I got on the plane. I got. Well, because, you know, it's hard. Like. Thomas posted a couple of pictures when we were there Mm -hmm. and you know a lot of my friends follow Thomas and they're like you're here oh I'm like "Uh, uh, 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 no uh, I'm not here for like regular uh, stuff I'm literally staying in Tempe by the university yeah. it's a Kenzie weekend yeah I can't it's hard and even then I see my and sisters guys, and my dad you were literally slammed all weekend like you yeah, literally had I a lot my family but she's like this is why you know I don't want to go to school in Arizona because it's like parents weekend and I, you're seeing your family and I want you to spend time with me I'm like got Aww. it so I was like no just stay off the social media yeah, like shut um, it down. until the end yeah but yeah it was amazing yeah um and she's so happy and it's so good to see her she adjusted. looks so happy I mean really Kenzie, what a beautiful young lady it, you, you know have. What? And it's so, I was reading my Us Weekly on the plane on the way there, and there was an article by Gwyneth, and mm-hmm. she was talking about how she took Apple to college mm-hmm. this year. Oh, and she turned Paltrow. 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, is there more than a Gwyneth? Like Gwyneth. Gwyneth Paltrow, I guess. Yeah. You're right. Gwen and Sithani. Apple. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. And Apple, her daughter. And she said, she was like, I knew it was going to be hard because we're so close, but I really had no idea. And she's like, it took me weeks to recover. And mm-hmm. Thomas was like, mm-hmm, I was there. Yeah. Oh, and, truth. Oh. Hashtag truth. I was a disaster. It you was were. like devastating. And and it was devastating for her too. Mm-hmm. And it was really hard, but it was such a different experience going back and have her showing me and being excited. Yes. You know, and I like, got to meet all of her roommates are so sweet. And I, I got to meet it. their families. Good. And this time like hang out with all the yeah. moms and everything. Loved. I know. You could see in the them. pictures on your social, I like loved. you guys instantly connected. <laughs> they're and great. They look like they're just like our people. All the parents you know? were vibing. Like her roommate's dad was holding everyone for the keg stands. I love it. Not me. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even do that in college. But right. um, everyone's like, oh, where are you? I'm like, no, no ma'am. Keg stand. No, Thank no, you. no. But anyway, it was really awesome. It was a jam packed weekend. And then we came back and it's like crazy because it's a short week. Right. Because of veterans. We love our veterans, by the way. Cheers. Thank you for your service, Thank veterans. You. Um, and did you know, we say this every time, Long Island um, is the number one. Uh, veteran, what is it, residents? We're the number one population of veterans in the country. Suffolk County, yeah. yeah. So exactly. cheers to our veterans, hold on. And one of our new partners, American Armor Museum. Oh my God. I heard you talking about the American Armor Museum. Yeah, he's and an existing partner. By the way, yeah, the American, sorry. No, I was just going to say American Armor. Is like, I heard Michael go like, no, I don't know that I could do the whole thing because it's, you know, it's like but you did a reenactment. It. Yeah. I did it. And let me tell you, it is so awesome and I'm not you know you don't have to like be into war to like the read I think it's really you said it best Michael when you said it's really a reminder as to what people what the generations the greatest generation in particular have went through for our freedoms that we enjoy today Mm -hmm. and honestly it's what the um, armor museum does I heard they're doing um oh no that's the air power museum no the Republic Museum is doing like a dropping of the roses. But I, I love how much Long Island loves our veterans. Oh, yeah. 100%. I think it's just, you know, like we talked about it on the interview today with, with Lori, just that everything, it's like, whether or not, I mean, everybody has somebody that yeah. is a part of that. Long you Island know? is one of the best places that you'll go and you'll see American flags everywhere. Everywhere. Dropped on the on yeah. the bridges as you're going down Summers Highway or the Long Island Expressway like thank you for your service yes. you know I mean it's it's real and uh, this, this, so thanks to our veterans but it's a short week and then we've got so much going on and everyone is like like so stretched thin and we're leaving here to go to the Long Island Harvest Dinner yes. Long Island Wine Country Harvest Dinner which is their legacy award yeah so dinner. we had a we had I'm a, excited about that we're already we're already 
we, we got to slow it down and they're like, oh, Sharon, we're going to drink wine at the Harvest Day. Yeah. Um, we have but a we're going to go to that. Yeah. So we're going to go to that. And and then last night I was at um, Mitch Pally, who's yes. our board member, Incredible our executive person. committee member. And he um, was on the MTA board and he's the head of Libby, which is the Long Island Builders Institute. And he's retiring. So mm-hmm. this is going away dinner. Oh. What an icon he is. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Do you know that he... He's a lob- He was a lobbyist, and people think, oh, lobbyists are so terrible, but come- it makes me crazy because lobbyists, you know, he said lobbyists do the work. They have no control over what they want to get done to get done, but they just do the work of making sure people understand how they can really impact legislation. And he was a lobbyist that helped get the first national seatbelt law signed. Yes. Yeah, I know that about him. It's- and... He was also um, instrumental in getting the hotel motel tax Ugh. signed. And the Long Island Welcome Center done. Uh, yeah. This he's just, man, he's, he's incredible. Gonna, we're going to celebrate him at our words gala. And we'll tell I you all about that wait later. For you to see the videos, I watched some of them um, for the Legacy oh, Award. Oh, my cry. goodness. I, I was love like, that event. We haven't had it in two years. Yeah, and I've missed it I was like so sobbing. much. Oh, my God. We have such great people in our industry. And I just love the people of Long Island. But, um, yeah, and so we're doing so much work. We're making videos and end of the year videos and presentations and all these reports. And then I'm like, can I get a sweatshirt blanket around here or what? Where's, where's my, uh, how you doing mug? I mean, <laughs> is it so hard? <laughs> I'm like, it's crazy. And the team looks at me I like, it's so funny. Also, As a, I'm like, everybody's busy. <laughs> yeah, You're Sharon's like, like no. stop it. We just got the team back in place. Um, uh, but no, it's awesome. And, and oh, also just, you know, Something else we did this week is we launched a brand new website. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? We are We're slammed, so busy. But the website it's is crazy. incredible. It's I can't tell awesome. you. And we had a call with a couple of our partners asking us about different platforms and that we use. And, and our website is hosted by Simple View. We did an RFP, everything like that. But what an incredible job the team at Simple View did. Simple um, View did an it's a, been a year in progress. I was skeptical. Launching a new website is a nightmare. It's scary. It's it took scary. a whole year. But it's funny enough, like my tenure here, I've gone through three website launches. This one was the most easiest, uh, probably because oh. I wasn't such a big part of it. <laughs> You're like, because I, uh, I just launched. I just signed the POs. But no, um, honestly, like, it's absolutely beautiful. The the layout, everything it's just so fresh and so yeah. clean. And you and know, it's simple. Beautiful. We did a great job. You know who else did a great job? Jillian, Jillian. on our team. Ugh. Jillian, who, by the way, was working without a marketing director because with, we were for a very long time. It was her first you job. Know, I mean, she has done such a good job. And she then, was ugh. on point with everything. Um, you know, and you know what I love? I, we've said this internally before about Jillian, but her persona so good is just so incredible i mean she when she had you know like when you get frazzled we're launching a new website things are happening even yesterday when they're like we're you and i are in behind closed doors talking and i'm getting a text message from shannon she's like uh they need to speak to you right away can you know can you open your door open the door so i'm like yeah come on in so allison our new director of marketing and jillian came in they're like we need to fix some things whatever we're like but jillian was like okay let me get back to you on that. Yeah. You know, like we were like, she's what so happened? good. And Allison came in and talk about hit the ground running. Oh my gosh. Our new director of marketing. I love what you, when you were like in the executive committee meeting, we were like announcing new staff members and stuff like that. You're like, um, and we have a new director of marketing sent from heaven. <laughs> I was like, she came to us <laughs> from um, heaven. pretty much from heaven <laughs> because, because it's true. She's amazing. Uh, amazing. Justine, such a great job. Alyssa, so helpful like honestly our whole team, whole team. is great whole so team is i'm amazing a, i just i mean i just want to sweat your blanket right it's fine i'll get one it I'll, even you know. if we just order one i'll just order <laughs> it's fine i have one from gurney's and i love it love i it, have love like, it. so many from love talk i love it i love it i love, I love it. it um okay so real quick um can, leave us a review can you just leave us a review please because five stars five you know dollars what? off your merch yeah when we get that sweatshirt blanket you can get five dollars off. Ooh. By the way, there's no better incentive than that, right? right? How you doing, Mug? Right. Come on. Come on. Do it. You won't. Um, <laughs> leave us a review. And uh, honestly, because it really helps us. If, you're like, if you like what you're listening to, please, whatever platform you're listening to, and then we'll give you a shout out. And send us, um, I want to do a couple teasers first before we get into the interviews. We're going to do um, Thanksgiving hacks and recipes next I can't week. Wait. Can't we we were going to do it this week, but we got too busy. And Lori, you know what I love though, Alyssa sent an email out to the team and was like, I know. "Give me your recipes." I know. I oh love God, it. I'm starving just thinking about things. Oh, 
Guess what? My dad's coming for Thanksgiving now. Oh. Yeah. That happened I can't wait when I was in that. Arizona. Booked his plane ticket on the spot. Oh. It's going to be great. It is going to be He heard great. we cut down a tree in our backyard, so he wants to chop the wood and burn it. Of course he does. <laughs> we bought a new fire pit. He's a burn it. So burn it's it. fine. Um, but oh, leave funny. us a review and, um, and and Thanksgiving hacks. If you have some Thanksgiving hacks or recipes, or we're putting together a gift guide for the holidays yeah, too. Yeah, because you know what? It, Are you seeing that on like all the social everybody's, media where it's like everybody's shopping now yes and like putting up their Christmas trees I still, my skeleton's still up yeah my pumpkins gonna are still this out weekend. like come on I'm like, my mom's are already dead oh my god dry, in the woods. shriveled up I mean those <laughs> like, poor mums they're gonna be thrown into the woods immediately I'm gonna bring my mums into you to throw into the woods yeah you, I, I don't even know what happened like they're they lo- they're dead because it's like one minute yeah it's, it's been warm and cold. and So anyway, send us your um, recipes, your gift guide suggestions, your hacks, yes. anything for the holidays. Please, it questions, your dilemmas, your conundrums, Uncorked send them advice. to us. And, uh, and we'll be addressing those in the next couple weeks. Okay, Sharon, we actually have a special early holiday gift for our hot teas. I know. And this sounds amazing. We were just talking about this with Lori. It's yeah. amazing. Um, Ideal Body in Jericho is yeah. giving us like an incredible $100. gift. A hundred dollar gift, gift card. card. Go to Instagram if you want to enter. But we were asking Lori, how do you look so good? She's like, uh, Botox, <laughs> obviously. Um, this is and an amazing laser. Gift. They do so many yeah. incredible treatments. Exclusions do apply. But go on our Instagram. You can enter to win a hundred dollar gift card for you or give it away. Regift that. Holiday season. And uh, this is how we're here for you, Hot Tea. So enter to win. Uh, we do have some charity okay do you want me to do to it to talk about mm-hmm. um so we do have a hot tea a man john messina a local high school teacher on long island he reached out to us because he um is also a film producer and he put together this uh, documentary series called fight story inspired by how individuals and films like the rocky series have motivated so many people and wanted to share his story with us 100 percent of his merchandise and clothing line profits go towards helping children with autism oh right yeah we should, so we awesome. should do a collab yeah oh sweatshirt blanket sweatshirt blanket <laughs> Call coming. us. It's coming. Call us. Somebody John, help me. I'm going to be in contact. If you can make me a sweatshirt blanket or a how you doing mug, please just DM us. Right. And we'll do it. Right. Kay. It's happening. So what is his website or whatever? Like, do we know? Oh, okay. Well, we'll put we'll it in the notes. That. We'll figure it out. Um, Michael is going to put it in the notes. Also, we were going to do some events and stuff. Um, we have a bunch of rapid fire events for coming up for the holidays, but they're going to put them all in the notes. Yeah. So, so look important. at the notes yeah. if you're listening to any of whatever platform and or go to our website and we're going to have a bunch of events our brand new beautiful website um put that stuff in the in, you know check it out we've got so many events coming up for mm-hmm. the holidays it like i know it's done I i'm know. i'm i'm spinning 2023 spinning here we are um wine of the week sharon wine of which the week. is pretty much hello and it's gone you know we we had it's been, we've a, been in it's here been for a, a long while, so day. We are drinking. Hold, please. And it's amazing. This is really cool. It's called, uh, it's Raphael. It's Raphael, who, this is one of my faves. I mean, they're all my faves. Have you heard of this? I've never, I've never had this. It's like our, it's like our new white Merlot. It's like our new white Buffalo. 2019, a Chardot. Chardot. Then this is why I love it. Because it's like partially Chardonnay. Chardonnay and Bardot. Yeah. Bardot. 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 (laughs) <laughs> I was um, like, Wait, it's, it's aged in stainless steel, which is amazing because we've had a couple that are aged in stainless steel but, um, over oak or, you know, whatever barrels they use. But this dry wine is cool, fermented to f- retain fresh fruit flavors. It's balanced acidity and fruit with peach and pear aromas and tropical f- fruit flavors, as well as classic structure and weight. That's awesome. It is. It's very nice and light. Like, it's not as... He- I love a Chardonnay. But it's it's a little lighter than a Chardonnay. Uh, it's it's a Bordeaux. It's a Chardonnay. A Bordeaux. It's a Chardonnay. It's a Chardonnay and Bordeaux, which is yeah. like the best of both worlds. Yeah, 100%. I'm like in a million years, I've never heard of this. I know, but leave it to Raphael then and Long Island wines. And so um, there was a. Did you put Michael? Did you put the Sanino thing in here? Because mm-hmm. um, there is something else coming up that you can do. Um, it'll be in the notes. But there's a Sanino like barrel tasting. Coming up, I think on the 20th, um, Sanino Vineyards, which we're about to go see all of this. Oh, Anthony Sanino. It includes a full tour of vineyard wine production facilities and barrel cellar. Oh, remember when we saw, he took us on a tour of this? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It's an immersive experience in the winemaking process. And um, it's it runs up to three hours, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And all the details are um, in our notes. So check it out. But 
that's coming up. You know what else is coming up? What? Lens Lens Winery. Yeah. They do, instead of doing a tree lighting, they do a barrel lighting. What? Isn't that so cool? Yes. I don't... I, We'll I don't know the how notes, they do it. My dad will be like, burn it. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a barrel. Um, no, it. the vineyards are such a great place to be. Thank you, Long Island Wine Country. We're going to see you in a minute and celebrate the harvest season and all the great work that you do for Long Island. And thanks for keeping Sharon and I sane, most importantly. Mm, yes. Um, something else happened this week? What? Our YouTube, where you can watch all of these episodes. Yes, um, and yes. The Long Island TV. And if you, the interview <clears throat> we're about to do with Lori, you got to watch it on YouTube because she's such a cutie patootie. I love I her love so her. much. Uh, we just topped 4,000 subscribers. Ah, oh, cheers. Cheers. That's I awesome. Know. Yay to the whole team. I mean, that's amazing. We mm-hmm. we struggled for a while to get it past. I remember 1, when we 000. wanted 100. Yeah. You had to have 100 subscribers to like um, customize your. Data your and stuff. Im- your pictures and stuff, and we were like, oh my god, if we could just get a hundred, yeah, we were like got emailing everyone, and it's growing. I mean, these podcasts are getting over two thousand views each. I can't believe it. I know it's weird. It is weird. I know. I love mm. it. I do love it. I love it too. And I uh, want to thank all of our hot teas out there for subscribing to our YouTube. Um, because I mean, if you think about it, there's not that many destinations that have that many. Like right. we have more than New York City. We have more than I love New York. We right. have more. It's crazy. Right. I mean, we're we, Long Island. We're Long Island. We're just, you know, out there winning global awards. You're from New York. Yeah, girl, t- sing it. I thank you for singing. <laughs> Where dreams not, come n- yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I will tell you. Okay, I'll give you one Long Island uh, Thanksgiving teaser. Oh, I have a new cookbook. It's called. I was going to say you have a cookbook, girl. Wait, no, what? no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not do a cookbook. I you bought purchased a cookbook. a new cookbook. I bought okay. a cookbook. All right, I'm here for it. And I no, I me writing a cookbook is never going to happen. It's called Take It Easy. Oh, uh, by Gabby Dolkey. 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 D a d a l k y. We'll put it in the notes. Take it easy, and I'm very excited because there's a new recipe I'm going to try to oh. make for Thanksgiving. Okay. It's the cream spinach. Oh, but it's delicious. all supposed to be like easy, easy like stuff. normal yeah. recipes. It's not crazy and they're comfort food. And I've never made a cream spinach. Okay. And uh, I was like, I need a Dutch oven. Right. Google, what is a Dutch oven? You didn't know what a Dutch oven was? No. Huh. I don't know. Do you it's know? Like, what? Yeah. It's a pressure no, cooker. No, Michael doesn't know. It's a pressure cooker. No, it's like a, I, I was like, is this like what? It's, it's a, on William it's Snowman. It's like a La Croissette. A La Croissette. It's it's like a pan with an with a cover, but a it's ceramic. A ceramic. Yeah, and you put ceramic. it in your oven. So I was like, I want to make. Which I bought this. you know what can you else can get? What else you can get is um, Instapot. That's no. what a Dutch oven will do for you. I don't know. Does it matter? Is it Instapot no. cheaper? No, Instapot's quicker. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't know, but the recipe called for a Dutch oven, and I decided I was going to make it. So then I was freaking out, and the next thing, no, Thomas like bought me a Dutch oven. Oh. I got home and he's like, "There's a Dutch oven." I'm like, I'm "Okay." Scared. Now I feel obligated. I mean, so I was you know kind of talking do? smack about how I was going to make it. Now I'm like, "He bought me a Dutch oven." Now you got to. I've got to do it. Just make it first, like this weekend. I know. Like, That's with, what, like, now I've got to like something. try it out. Yeah. Like I have time for that. I know. I know, but it's fine. I'm going to do a cream spinach. I'm going to test it out this weekend, and hopefully I'll have results for you I can't next, wait to hear. next pod. Yeah. Um, and if it's good, mm-hmm. I'll post, I'll put it on our Thanksgiving hacks, because it's, if you have a Dutch oven. Um, okay, anxiety. Did you hear what? that Brittany Griner? Yes. Oh, my did God. Did you hear this? Mm-hmm. She was just moved to a penal colony. Yeah. Like, remember on... Uh, uh, like handmaids. handmaids yeah. yeah, I know. They moved her to a work. Pe- they don't even know where she is. She's it's like insane. in an undisclosed work camp. That's so crazy that this is actually reality. Her I, reality. I, I mean, can't. I cannot. I don't even know what to do. I know. And it's funny because they keep on talking about the swap still. They're still talking about the swap, the prisoner swap. And I'm like, that's never going to happen. Like, I need... So in Arizona, at Arizona State, when I went back, because, you know, I have the number 42 on my license plate. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, what does 42 mean? Yeah. And they think I got it when I was 42 or something. I'm like, no. If you, if you, if you don't. And I was talking, I was laughing with Hashtag the parents. I'm you like, know, you know? yeah. I was like, people ask, people in New York ask me, like, what's the significance of 42? I'm like, if you don't know, it's fine. Yeah. Everywhere you went at Arizona, we went to a football game. Everybody has the 42 jersey. Okay. 42, Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman, amazing Arizona State football player. 
then Arizona Cardinals, incredible NFL player, after 9-11, decided to quit his NFL career, enlist in the military, in mm. special ops, go fight the war, and was shot in like a special ops mm. fa- a friendly fire. It was tragic. He's a true American hero. Love him. I'm like, I need some Pat Tillman with for Brittany Griner. Yeah. Like, I'm at this point, just go get her. Yeah. Like, what? What? Where? Where is my special ops? Ugh. Maybe so now after insane. the maybe after the election. Mm, maybe go get her. Yeah, go get her. Like if you're, w- there's a lot of special ops fighting the uh, like you uh, fighting Russia right now. Ukraine. There's mm-hmm. a lot of Americans yeah. right now doing it. Go get Brittany. Um, okay, so let's take let's let's introduce Lori real quick. Okay, and then we'll just wrap it up because this interview with Lori is amazing. She's a Long Island girl. She has a podcast out right now with Kim K. She's a she's a very well respected um, television producer that does shows on like TLC, mm-hmm. all the all the shows that crime, you've heard of, crime, true crime, yeah. And um, and before that, Samantha Brown on yeah. the travel on the Travel Channel. That's how we met. You're gonna hear how we met, and you're gonna hear what she's up to now. The system on Spotify with Kim K. Let's take a listen. Okay, so Sharon, I'm really excited to have my friend Lori Rothschild here um, on the podcast, and. Uh, I I mean, you, she was kind of famous when I first met her, but now she's like super famous. Super famous. We have a celeb. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and best of all, Long Island girl. Long Island. And so she agreed to come on the pod and talk about Long Island and all of her great successes. We talked about it last uh, week when we were teasing that you were coming on. Are you originally from Babylon? North Babylon. North Babylon. So I'm originally yes. from West Babylon. So oh, yeah. oh, what year did you graduate? 2000. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know, I know, I know. This is my life. This is my life. I'm surrounded by, like, you know, millennials. Um, I'm not even having that conversation. <laughs> I know. I'm touching that. But so I have to tell, Lori and I have to tell you, like, the night we met, I was trying to think, I want to say, because I, my daughter, it was like 2008. So it was almost like 18 years ago. Mm-hmm. And oh. it's not so hor- I know. Um, she's laughing, but we were at a, a public relations, uh, travel and tourism convention in Pittsburgh of all places. And somehow Lori was there as a speaker mm-hmm. and uh, it's weird what I remember about you. Cause you were on this food panel. Um, and at the time you were the producer for Samantha Brown's travel show. Yes, I was, uh-huh. which you were a total celeb back then. Cause Samantha Brown was like, she is like mm-hmm. the, the goddess of travel right on television. And so Lori was like this big VIP at the conference and I was on the board. I think I was actually the chair. I don't know if I was the chairperson that year anyway. So I got to like hang out with Lori and you know what I remember Very is, happy. yeah, the, one of the first things I remember about you and I had never even heard of Long Island at the time, right? It would never even cross <laughs> my mind. Um, but there was a food panel and it was like, uh, if you were in a desert Island, what, would you want as your food? And everybody was talking. And Lori goes, uh, tomato mozzarella. Yeah. And I was like, um, I think you mean mozzarella. <laughs> Is that what that are you saying mozzarella? And what she's like, saying? she's like, girl, mozzarella. <laughs> and mozzarella. She, say, say how you say it, Lori. Use your accent. Mozzarella. mozzarella. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and immediately mozzarella. that's how you know. Yeah, you can. New Yorker. New Yorker. <laughs> and we wow. hit it off. And then we were at the Pittsburgh Pirates game for an event that night. And as we were leaving, we had like a suite for like the board. As we were leaving, we passed this musical venue, this band playing for like the club. And it was called, do you remember the name, Lori? I do. What was it? Do you? It's, yeah. It's epic. It's, it was Bon Journey. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten really famous as of late uh, with your new project and, um, and, and mostly because a it's true crime, which is awesome, and that's like such a such a pop culture thing right now. Everyone asks us when it when when Sharon and I are like, we have a podcast. They're like, oh, is it true crime? Yeah, I'm like, I mean, it could be. We're on Long Island. Let's be right. honest. Um, but no. Um, but yours is, and that's such a hot topic right now. And then of course you're producing it with the host um, Kim Kardashian, mm-hmm. which shines a little bit of attention <laughs> on the subject. So I love the story yeah. about yeah. how you um, got together with Kim because yeah. it's also one of our other favorite shows. There's like this funny synergy here, but it's, you know, it's funny. I always tell Sharon, I'll speak at events all the time on Long Island, like rotaries and whatever. And sometimes there's a handful of people there and people are like, oh, that was a waste of time. I'm like, you never know who's in the audience and who that person knows. And when I heard your story, I was like, this is an exact example. So tell us how 
your podcast. Tell us about it and how it came to life. I just life. have to tell you real quick. I like literally am obsessed with it. I, okay. <laughs> Kristen is like, it's it is, it's so good. I came in, I'm like, you gotta listen. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I was at the time of, um, when I first started on Kevin's case, it was 2000, late 2016, early 2017. And my company was actually funded by Fremantle, which is a huge production studio that really does a whole lot of game shows. They do a lot of game shows. So like American Idol is in the building. Um, America's Got Talent, anything from that to Wheel of Fortune and, um, and uh, you know, um, Family Feud. So I was the true crime author arm company that does game shows so i was like the lunatic like the the back room kind of people they were like i don't know what she's doing about there but she's talking murder all the time one of the one of my contacts sent me this link for this oh do you know that you know the kevin keith story out of ohio and i was like i have no idea and i remember her saying it was a they think it's a wrongful conviction case and i remember in my brain going everyone who's been convicted of murder says they're innocent and I can I read this uh, incredible news story about Charles Keith, which is Kevin's brother. And um, I was hooked. I was hooked right away. And I called Charles. And I remember when I called him and I said, hey, I'm Lori Rothschild. I'm a television producer from Los Angeles. He literally stopped. It was, it was stone cold silence. And he started to cry. And he said, I've been waiting for all my entire life. Um, which really hit me. And so anyway, I became this investigator, if you would, um, working with Charles and trying to understand the story that he was telling me. And my my office was crazy. Like I, I was that woman who had the cork boards with the strings and the pictures. And, and, the, I I couldn't, uh, and you can see actually, uh, we're, on, we're on Zoom. So you can actually see right over here. This is one of our charts that um, I have never, I, I, I keep it there. So I know where it is. But I was a lunatic. I literally was the lunatic in a big building full of game shows. So these people would walk past my and they kind of peek in and be like, "What are you doing?" Um, there was one guy who um, who came in and said just that, like, "What what the hell are you doing in here?" And I said, "Oh, you know, it's a wrongful conviction case." And he would stop in from time to time and and learn more about the case. And so he came in and he knew I was talking to all these other people, and he said to me, "Listen, we're doing this episode of the Kardashians and the Gen uh, the Jenners, I think it was." Or the card of the Jenners, would you would you want me to say anything to Kim Kardashian? Because she's gonna be there. And I was like, Yeah, sure, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So I Kim was always on my radar because I knew she had done amazing work on the Alice Johnson case. Her heart was sort of already part of the wrongful conviction world. And I knew that she was, you know, kind of aware of all to all of this. Um, but I didn't think about it. I was like, sure, yeah, just go ahead and tell like you know, like it's going to work. He's a producer on a family feud. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on a Friday night, by the way, you should know, and I don't know if it's still a Long Island thing, but on Friday nights, it's always pizza and a movie in my house. Yep. So it's always pizza. It's always Friday night pizza. When with, with pizza comes red wine. So I was probably somewhere about a bottle in because it was late. <laughs> um, this is why we're friends. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. And I want to literally, friends. literally. <laughs> yeah, I was, and I, you know, listen, I, no judgments for anybody, but it was Friday night and I don't care. And I was in my own house, but so anyway, I was a bottle in for sure. And then my kids were asleep. Um, and for some reason, I don't remember my husband being in the room, but the phone rings and it's a block number, which I don't even know why I picked it up, but I did. And it was this girl who worked for Kim and I thought I was being pranked for a second and she goes, hi, you know, this is Tracy. I work with Kim Kardashian. I'm so sorry to be calling this late, but, um, you know, Kim wants to talk to you about the Kevin Keith case. And I'm literally slapping myself in the face at this point. Cause I'm like, you pull it get together, <laughs> you have to pull it together. <laughs> anyway, that's how it happened. I went over to Kim's house and I brought my big white binder. As I, um, said, I, I, I sound like a true lunatic when I, what if you if you see the binder, it makes me look like a real lunatic. But um, but I did. I went over and sat with her, and um, we went through it. And I think I think for Kim, um, obviously it's a terrible case, and it's really it's 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 just it's so pure that there were so many mistakes that were made and and issues with the case. And 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 
quite obviously to me anyway, um, police corruption, that um, that's what I knew she was going to be, you know, sort of understanding. But I think that the story of Charles Keith, you know, a sibling who never gave up on his brother, even when all everything was against them. I had, I, I mean, everything, but he literally gave up his whole life for his brother. And to this day, you know, that's all he talks about. So I knew that that was going to be something that really resonated with Kim and, and, you know, based on her, you know, and yeah, her family. the sibling so. love. And I, and when you listen, like when, all you have to do, it's called, again, it's on Spotify. It's called The System. It's really a riveting story. And, um, and we're not, I'm not done with it. So, know. you know, like, I'm not going to say it too much away. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm excited. And it's, uh, everybody should listen. It's The System. It's on Spotify. It's only on Spotify. Yeah. yeah. And, and, it's really an incredible story to listen to. And I think Kim does a great job and I really respect her for using. And I like how you talk about how she uses her platform and her voice for something good and what an incredible thing for her to do. And I, it's just amazing that like, like from Bon Journey to Kim Kardashian, like how, I'm like, Oh, I know people just so you know, <laughs> I got a girl like here on Long Island. And we always like got a guy. But I got a, I got a I got a, I got a guy. Yeah, I got a guy. Yeah. And um, so real quick, rapid fire. Do you ever come back to Long Island? When's the last time you've been here to see your family? Is your family still here? Um, I have extended family there. My immediate family are, are all off of Long Island. Um, my best friends and and I have some family that are there. I was just there. La- in fact, a year ago now. Oh, no. Right before Halloween, I was there last year for my um, high school reunion. We uh, yeah, it was like one of those, like, let's all meet at a bar. It wasn't official, but it was like totally, you know what I mean? In Babylon Village, it was it was great. And it was fun to see everybody. And um, and then um, I went to I went out and did my wine tastings out out on Long Island. I don't I, I'm not plugging. I'm just saying. It yeah, was no, you can plug that we're sponsored by Long Island Wine. So uh, was, what's and- your favorite winery? Where'd you go? I think we went to Pindar yeah. and we went to, um, we went apple picking at this beautiful, I forgot what it was called, but it was such a beautiful day. And they had like all different types of, they had all uh, of the wineries, a couple of the wineries, I would say had like booths and stuff. So we were, we were hammered picking wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, okay. So what do you, is there any, what else other than the vineyards and the apple picking, which is amazing. And I love that you can go anywhere and apple pick or pumpkin pick, or we're almost, back I was like, yeah, long. we're almost in the part where you can cut your tree yeah. down, mm-hmm. you know, your Christmas tree. Um, yeah. But yeah. do you miss any, like, are there any favorite restaurants or, you know, what do you miss? Oh, my God. You know, there's like so many things. I think, you know, the biggest thing I miss is a diner. I, we don't have diners. You yeah, know, it's we such don't, a Long Island thing to have diners, right? Yeah, and you have your own diner, right? It's like, yeah. I know my diners, like, based on so, what So, Lori, when I moved here, I was like, why are there so many diners? And like, if everybody wanted to meet me in a diner. I'm like, Sharon. Yeah. Why? What? Yes. What? And then, but every single person was like, you haven't been to the Plainview Diner. Yeah. You oh haven't God, been to the Hot Pocket Diner. You, that's that's they're like no, that's the diner. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's the that's some North Snor- North North Shore, uh, Shore snobs right there. When they say, <laughs> yeah. Plainview Diner. You know, we went. I was like more of like the um the Olympic Diner, the Olympic which, Diner, oh, on yes. TPA, right? Yeah, on, the, on Deer Park Avenue. That's, that's exactly right. right. That's where yes. I grew up. And I used to oh, work. Yeah. I used to work at the McDonald's over there. Uh, this is why she's a Long Island girl. You can yeah. tell. Um, everyone, listen to the system uh, on Spotify. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I can't wait. Like I'm gonna go in, wait to get in the, the car. car. We're yeah. driving to Kutchog tonight to the oh, Long Kutchog. Island Harvest Festival, Long Island Wine Harvest Dinner, and uh, we'll be listening the yeah. whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so Thank congratulations, you. Lori, Thank on all you. of your Thank success. You. I'm so Thank proud you. to be your friend. I'm so thankful I met you that night at the Pittsburgh Clubhouse or whatever, <laughs> and we jammed a bond we journey. Will, we will always have Pittsburgh. <laughs> I know. That's and we will always have Long Island, Lori. And we, yes, and I'll, yes. And, we'll and you always. have an open invitation. Call Sharon and I anytime. Thank you. That was incredible. I just love her. Yeah. And that was, we're just giving you a snippet. Yeah. And the full episode is on our YouTube channel. You have to look, 
look it up on YouTube at Discover Long Island and subscribe because we are 4,000 subscribers. It's crazy. And you do need to do it because she, she we get way more into uh, the motivation behind the podcast, the story of the podcast. It's so entertaining. And more importantly, all her favorite things in Long yeah. Island. So rapid fire. Yeah. Love tune it. in, tune in. Um, okay, so what else do we have going on in the notes? Um, we've got a couple of events going on. We're going to go to the Harvest Dinner tonight. Yeah. And I mean, look, how much could we have going on? I, I can't even. I mean, there's a ton. So we'll put it in the notes. <laughs> really um, so done. <laughs> there are a ton of notes. But some of them are amazing, like Yoga in, Col- in Co Hall at Planning Fields on the 19th. Yoga which what? Is a- yoga in Co Hall. Co Hall Planning Fields. Oh, Co Hall. That's yeah. a place in Planning Fields. Okay. Yeah. City Cellar Thanksgiving Catering to Go is on the 19th, which is awesome. Uh, so many boat parades, like the Babylon Boat Parade. I think there's one in Patchogue as well. The, uh, this, I know we talk about Mulcahy's all the time, but 80s versus 90s night. Come on, that's okay, us. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, That's like right up our alley. But so many holiday light shows coming up. Just tune in and be sure to read our notes on the pod because yeah. we list these all out. Yeah, next week we're going to talk about like Thanksgiving Christmas. hacks and stuff and, yeah. and gift and then we'll get into the gift guide and we'll get into the holiday stuff because right now honestly our skeletons are still up. Yeah, and I, I'm I like one of those people like sit down fat man. <gasps> you know what I was going to tell you? You no, know, you know what I was going to tell you is I was listening to this podcast. Oh my god, I'm so glad you said that because I was listening to this sit podcast. Down, fat man, I'm talking yes. about Santa. I know. <laughs> but it reminded me I was listening to this podcast and it's somebody that I actually know and and I love her, but she's a personal trainer. Okay. And her whole life, she makes like amazing protein shakes books, and she's blonde and gorgeous and skinny. And, all. and her podcast was "Let's Get Hot for the Holidays," and I'm like, "Do we no. have to?" It's like hot girl summer. Do we, do we have to get hot? I know, for the but holidays? I love the ones I'm that like tiger. are like Winnie the Pooh, like dancing in front of the mirror, and he's like, "My holiday body's already here." <laughs> Obviously, we didn't win the lottery, so I'm still exhausted. I can't even, the one person that won. We played in both Arizona and New York, and uh, I swear that the two states that didn't win anything. Of course. Like, not even, not even the millionaire. Uh, Thomas, like, pretty much every other state won at least a Powerball million, but not us. So, they were like, get back to work. Yeah, I saw the meme, like, you didn't win. Get you back win. to work. Okay, so I'm exhausted. And it was like, you know what? You want to you wanna have your pumpkin spice, and you want to put on your sweatpants and your hoodie, <laughs> and you want to, you know, eat Girl those cookies, the blanket, never and leave. you want to get under the blanket. But you know what? Not <clears throat> you. Not this year. Yeah. This year, we're going to get hot. We're going to say no to sugar. We're going to lift weights Stop. three times a week Stop at it. least. We're going to go heavy. I'm like, What? No, no, we're not. No. <laughs> no. We're going to drink Long Island wine and enjoy <laughs> sure, the holidays. Please. I'm so tired. I have my Robert Moses sweater. I know. Oh, my sweatshirt. Oh, and I spilled wine on it last oh, night. Oh, God. I, it's a yellow, and I was like trying to get little Thomas, and he was sitting on my lap, and I like spilled it, and it spilled all over. Were you Tegan's drinking red chrome. wine? Yes. Did you have the wine away? <gasps> I do have the wine away, yeah. but I, even, I forgot about it. Uh, no, I just put it on the sink, and I was like, Thomas. <laughs> I spilled wine on my sweatshirt. So, sweatshirt. It's uh, like a murder scene. Right it's call. like call Lori. There's a murder scene on my sweatshirt. Um, no, I just, I'm just, I'm like, do we have to get hot for the holidays? Is that a thing now? I mean, I can't. New Year's no. resolution. Yeah, New Year's yeah, but resolution. Like, yeah. That's what Dr. Reed talks about, too. Like, everybody makes the New Year's resolutions. Like, it I should love be Dr. like your everyday thing. I know. And that's what, that's what my friend in the podcast was saying. She's like, you know, it's holidays are that. They're a day. Enjoy your day, but every then get back into it. And I'm like, okay, and it's true because it can mm. build up, uh, yeah. you know, very quickly. Although I see different different ones that are like you know, Halloween's a day, Thanksgiving's a day, Christmas is a season. Yeah, I'm so, I'm here for the season. You know. I'm here for preach, preach the <laughs> preach. season. Um, okay, I, did you see the um, Saturday Night Live with Amy Schumer in it? No. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny. I normally like would see it. But so did you did you binge watch the Watchers? I know. I gave up after Did everybody you? in here talked about it and said the ending was terrible. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you and your friend watched it? Oh, oh Michael's got oh, his friend. Oh. Can we say his name? It's Jackson. Is he a hot tea? Jackson. <gasps> it's Jackson, right? Yes. Oh, my God. Michael. I think, I you know, this. and I was going to say the other thing I'm binging is Love is Blind. Um, but, I mean, Michael found has found, like, love right now. It's so I exciting. I love it. I so love it. So, Keith Jackson is our new hot tea. We love him. And you're making our Michael so happy. I know. Which like, makes us seriously, happy. Seriously. So, are. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson, Listen. don't break Michael's heart. 
Don't. Because uh, we're like we're tight here. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Don't. Um. Anyway, they made fun of the they made fun of the Watchers with Amy Schumer. Okay. Um, and it was so funny, Sharon, because if you watch it, it's like I'm watching you, and there's a family, and this person's doing this, and this kid's doing that, and he like writes these letters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched a few episodes of it, but then like I came in and everybody's talking about how horrible yeah, the, ending the ending was. was, not, was like, well, eh, it just, it just didn't it. wrap anything up, you know. But it's right. fine. You want it? You want it? I like a. Solution. Is there another season? I don't know, but I thought it was great. Like I think it's worth it to watch because it's really compelling, right? Um, but it's maybe not. You know, a lot of shows don't end the yeah, way you want yeah. them to. But the the like funny thing makes. is, they're like Amy. Sh- they're, they're the family, and Amy Schumer's the mom, and they're like the little. They're like the girls doing this, and they're like, oh, how did you know? And the son's doing this, and they're like, oh my god, the dad's doing. He's on his run. Okay, and they're like, and the mom, um, every night when everyone goes to bed, she comes out for a second dinner. What? And she eats a second dinner in the kitchen, <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> That's not true. No. Oh my God. Does and she then, play the mom, Amy Schumer? Yes. Oh my God. That's so like funny. Fully eating a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like, love that. And then, and then when everyone goes to school and work, she binges the Property Brothers, and she's like, "What?" And she, it, it's crazy. Oh my God. And she's like, so obviously, and then like somebody's got to stay behind, and she's like, obviously me, because they don't have anything on me, because none of that oh is my God. true. Too funny. I'm like, I love it. It's just so funny. She's like, I don't care. Watch and, all, watch all you want right. while I eat my second, second dinner and dinner. binge the Property Brothers. Heck yeah, yeah. Oh my I God. I was like, that's, that's so what funny. I'm gonna do. This Amy Schumer season. is from Long Island. I know so. she's a Long Island girl. That's so funny. Um, and her son, did you see that she missed a day of? Um, it said she missed a day of rehearsal because her son had was in the ER with oh, RSV, no. her oh, baby. Like everybody is so going crazy. around so bad. It's so crazy. So crazy. So take care of yourself this holiday season. Uh, is there anything else you need to cover before next week? Because no, I know it's I been a long. Good. It's been a long time, and we got to hit the road for cut We do. Off. We have a. We got to go event. listen to the system and hit the road. Um, thank you guys, hot teas. Please leave reviews. Literally, let us know if there's anything you want us to yeah. talk about $5 for the holidays, off your merch. or if you um, if you have any questions for us, uh, we can give you. We're pretty good at giving tips, or we got, we're pretty good. We're at advice, like one dollar for bad advice. Yeah, just let us know. All it's right, like we'll Lucy see you next from Peanuts. <laughs> Five cents. <laughs> Five cents. I saw that in Vegas, and there was a homeless guy, and he was like one dollar bad advice. Yes. I'm like, that that's amazing. I'm gonna give you a dollar for that. That's good. All right, so cheers. Cheers. <laughs>